Hi friends, what is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today in front of me I have an entire tray of crawfish. I'm so so excited. You guys know I love crawfish. One of my dreams that hasn't come true yet is to go to Louisiana, catch my own crawfish and eat there with like a pile of crawfish in the middle of the table and just enjoy myself. But for now, I'm so excited for this. I got this at Kick and Crab. Look how big they are. You guys, they're huge. Do you see this? This is the size of my right leg. Like it's ginormous. The claws are big, they're nice and juicy. They're not live crawfish. I believe the season's over, I think. These are frozen. But still, for frozen, they're pretty big. So I'm so excited to eat this with you guys. Don't forget to comment down below and let me know what you're eating for dinner or lunch or breakfast. Let me know where you guys are from. I'm always interested. And don't forget to subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Bon appetites. let's get started. I'm gonna start with this big one. I can't help it. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. It's like a mini lobster. It's huge. Mm. Oh my god. Ooh, look at all the goodness on the inside of this. Bummer. I think because they're frozen, the claws are hard and not as juicy as I want them to be. Nothing inside the claws, man. Mmm, they're like rocks. And they're quite dry. I'm so sad. Usually, I will break the claws in half if they're this big and suck on them, but... Man, I'm sad. Mmm. So dry, man. Why is so dry? Um, the claw meat, they're dry. So sad. I'm drinking Arizona green tea with ginseng and honey. Mm. So good. <gasps> oh my god, crawfish down, crawfish down. <gasps> no. <laughs> oh, I'm so hungry, I'm like all over the place. You gotta get all the meat. Hang on a minute. Let me get this crawfish before I forget and one of my dogs eat it. Okay, I'm back. Mmm. So dry. Mmm. 
I wish they were juicier. Mm, it's way too hard. Usually I would suck all the juice, you guys. Spicy. I love all the the yellow del delicacy. Yum. Trying to suck all the juice that I can get. Mm. Like, look at these claws, but they're so hard. I can't do it. And then the once I get inside the meat, it's all dried up in there. Arizona green tea with ginseng and honey diet. It's like water, but better. It's so refreshing.
I'm so bummed. Mm -hmm. I found this little bucket online. It's called the, the Swamp Bucket. And you can cook seafood in it. But the bucket's made of plastic, even though they say that it's like really high-end plastic. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. But it's called, it's, um, I saw it on Instagram. It's literally a bucket that you cook seafood in. Um, it doesn't run off gas, it runs off electricity. So you plug it in, but my only issue with it is that it's plastic, you know? And I'm like, oh, high heat. I think it goes up to like 275 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm like high heat and plastic, I don't know. I don't want you guys to think that I'm wasting crawfish, but I promise you, the claws are dry. And I think because they're frozen, they're not as juicy. But the meat is so good. Mm. I feel like I'm eating lobster tails. I feel like, oh, can I try this one? There we go, nice and soft. Still dry. <laughs> I feel like there are two crawfish eaters, people who are like me, who just clean up everything and they run through this really fast. And then there are people that sit there and pick up the poop out of the tail. And it's okay to be either one. But all I'm saying is, it's already tedious enough. I don't have time to sit there and take out the poop. It's not going to kill you. And you don't even taste it. Stop thinking about it, people. Mmm. That one was huge. Nothing like that refreshing drink when you're eating something salty.
Bam. They're big today. Oh my god, so good. I'm in heaven. It's like dead looking. Mm. These are for some big crawfish. Come on. Empty shell, empty shell, empty shell.
So, uh, oh gosh, do you guys hear that? I forgot to close the door. That's my dishwasher. You guys, I feel like I just ate like 6,000 lobsters. I love all the yellow stuff. I'm full. No, I lied to you. I've reached my max. And I don't really overeat in my videos. When I reach my max, I gotta stop. But I got a good amount tomorrow. Oh my god, tomorrow for lunch. This is gonna taste so good. Look, I got like 20 left. Wow, you guys. I'm pretty sure this is like a pound of crawfish. Mm. Thanks so much. Wow. I feel like I can't move. You know what the greatest thing about filming in my studio is? I could be sitting in my underwear and you would have no idea. Just saying. I love you guys though. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I'm in a food coma. Oh my gosh. That was delicious though. The crawfish tails were huge. Sorry we didn't really get to talk much. Um, there was really nothing much to talk about except how big the crawfish are. I do wish they were a little bit juicier. I was like in the mood to be stuck in some head, you know? But I love you guys. Um, I'll see you guys back here tomorrow with a brand new video. Please, please, please come back. I'm here every single night at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time to have dinner with y'all. If you guys don't show up, then my feelings are hurt. So I'll see you guys tomorrow night for dinner. Let me know what you're eating in the comments. I love you. Subscribe if you haven't already. A lot of you watch my videos, but you don't subscribe. And I don't know if you do, but you're not subscribed to the channel. And don't forget to subscribe to my blog channel as well. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye, my loves.